What's up? So here I wanted to focus a little bit more on the setup of the windshield and we have a better example of pole shrinking towards the top of it. So an important thing when you're setting up uh, your windshield for shrinking is always make sure the film is level and then we'll do a light tack across it just to kind of hold it in place. But I'll definitely lift the film um, on both sides and trim it off and same thing with the bottom. So I'll do this on, on both the left and the right side of the windshield. So you're gonna keep your sides as tight as you can. You don't want a lot of bulk film uh, overlapping the sides because it'll mess up the shrink. You want those to lay nice and flat. Uh, but when it comes to the top and the bottom, the top and the bottom, uh, leaving extra film on the top and the bottom is, is totally cool. Um, the only reason I cut it off on the bottom is because I don't want it to get uh, overlapping the cowl too much and getting all kinds of messy uh, down there. So then I'll take the hard card and I'll, again, I'll pull it straight. So now I have what is called like an H pattern where it's tacked down lightly on the sides and then in the center. And so pay attention to my top hand here. Wherever I point the heat gun, I'm leading also with my hand at the top. Like basically you could draw a straight line up because what I'm doing is I'm, I'm pulling the film nice and flat and then heating it up just until it starts to lay uh, smoothly on the glass. So anything over uh, it laying smoothly on the glass is going to cause an over shrink. It's going to pull a lot of tension, a lot of distortion um, off of the sides and mess up your entire window. But the film's going to bunch up a lot more uh, in the top corners than anywhere else on, on a windshield. So that's where pull shrinking is like, you, you call it pull shrinking, but it's really just like lift, lift and tug shrinking. You're not doing a lot other than just supporting it up off the glass and then warming it up and getting it to lay smooth. So this is one of those tricky things to kind of pick up. Uh, but when you know what you're looking for, uh, this makes your windshield or back window go a lot faster. You can handle a lot more difficult curves uh, when you get in the hang of this. So we're not actually going to pull shrink at all along the bottom. Uh, we're going to shrink the bottom like we do most any back window, most simple uh, windshields. It's, you know, there's a decent amount of film here, but it lays down pretty quick and smooth. For this one, we're using GeoShields Pro Classic film. So, uh, you know, looks real similar to the ceramic that we shrunk in the past couple of videos. Um, nothing crazy. It all just, you know, you put the heat on it, it starts uh, just laying smooth. And then we take the card and we press it all down. So there isn't a whole lot to explain here um, along the bottom area uh, versus the top. But it's always important to kind of show perspective on this is what an easier section is going to look like versus finessing um, a top portion of the windshield. So we'll get through uh, the driver's side on this one. Um, I seem to have a habit of really just tackling the sides a little bit more first and then going for the bulk of it. Um, I'll maybe try and reorganize the way I do it, but it's just kind of habit. I, I sometimes will knock out a little difficult area first um, and then the bulk of the film. I just kind of have it over the years. I don't, I don't know how else to explain it. But heat gun it, you know, like a 45 degree angle, keep things moving, keep things kind of lifted and loose on the glass. So anytime something looks like it's gonna bunch up, all I did there was pick up the film, uh, set it back down so everything's kind of like floating back on the window where I want it. Nothing looks like it's gonna bunch up. So that's that's the name of the game here. Just smoothing it out, heating it up, and anytime you look like you're gonna bunch it up into a corner or something, lift the film back up and, and try and readjust it. As we get into the bottom section here, uh, the heat gun is definitely a lot closer uh, but we're still moving at a very similar speed. So it takes more heat to heat the same, uh, basically, length of film. Just more of it is bunched up together. So the closer we get to those edges, then knock it down. And, uh, and she should be good to go here. Nope, we're going to go back. <laughs> and done. Okay, so back over to the top corner. Uh, same thing. So did some pull shrinking here, lifted it, heated up that bottom section. And then as it starts to lay smooth, I don't need to pull it as much, but I'm always looking for um, a section where it might bunch up. 
And if it does, that's where I'll pull it back again. So there was a lot more on the passenger side, um, less on the driver side. I don't really have a good explanation why. Sometimes it's just switching hands and having a different perspective help things go a little bit smoother. Sometimes you get lucky. One corner might not be quite as curved as the other side or just the act of shrinking the passenger side maybe made the driver's side that much easier. So pretty straightforward on this one. Total of like, you know, uh, five minutes really uh, for shrinking this windshield. So a little bit more film, but not a lot more time, uh, especially if you know what you're doing. So for this, uh, I'll do a better video on reverse rolling. I have some older ones, but peel the film uh, in sections, lift it up, roll it on the glass and then the film will flip over to the other side uh, of the tint. Just kind of wanted to show uh, real quick what the rest of the windshield process is gonna be like. So I've already cleaned off the inside and then we're just rolling it on, on the glass and it got a little hung up on the towel. So I ended up pulling the towel back, tucking the film in the bottom, squeegeeing the whole thing out. Uh, the full process is, is in the live stream though, if you wanna see it. There were a few little imperfections that we were able to uh, rinse out of the film. So not trying to hide anything, just it's a long <laughs> process for the rest of the windshield, but thanks.